we would like to calculate the Hubble constant at different megaparsecs. We're given that the Hubble constant is positive 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec. We find this from the slope of the line when we look at various different galactic redshift compared to the distances to the galaxies in megaparsecs. Each different red cross is an individual galaxy and notice that the galaxy data forms fairly linear line, the slope of which is given by Hubble's constant. Now if we take a look at space around the Milky Way, and let's just put it out in a two-dimensional plane, and we put it in a dartboard shape like this image on the right shows, we have the Milky Way at the center, and what I did is I colored each rung of the dartboard with a different color depending on the distance of megaparsec from the Milky Way. So between 0 and 1 megaparsec, I colored it blue. So you see this blue ring around the Milky Way. From 1 to 2 megaparsecs, I colored it yellow. From 2 to 3 megaparsecs, I colored it red, and so on. We're given the Hubble's constant, and we want to find the Hubble's constant from 2 to 3 megaparsecs of the Milky Way galaxy. So if we go look at our dartboard, between 0 and 1, it's this blue color. Between 1 and 2, it's this yellow color. And between 2 and 3, it is this red color. We want to know what is the speed of the galaxies between 2 and 3 megaparsecs. How fast are they moving away from us, which is called the Hubble flow. You're looking at space between the galaxies, and the space is moving outwards or flowing outwards. And we want to find out what is that speed of the galaxies and space that is flowing outwards. Now you might think it's 68 kilometers per second, but that's not true. Kilometers per second is a speed, and we know that the speed increases as you go outwards from the Milky Way because the universe is accelerating outwards. So we're going to have different speeds at different rungs of our dartboard. We're looking in between 2 and 3 megaparsecs, or the red rung. So we're given an equation for speed, which is equal to n times 68 kilometers per second, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, where the value for n is the distance of megaparsec. So n equal to 1 is between 0 and 1 megaparsecs, n equal to 2 is between 2 and 3 megaparsecs, and n equal to 3 is between 2 and 3 megaparsecs, or the red rung. That's n equal to 3. So since we are looking for between 2 and 3, we know that we can identify n to be equal to 3. So we want to find this speed, and the speed is going to be equal to n, which is 3, and we want to multiply it by 68 kilometers per second. We identified n as being 3, and all we need to do is substitute in n equal to 3 and multiply 68 by 3. So we go to our calculator on Google and we multiply 68 times 3. Oh, I have a mistake. I erase it. 68 times 3. And we get 204 as our value. So the answer is 204 kilometers per second between n equal to 2 and n equal to 3, so in between 2 and 3 kilometers per second. And we can call this speed, you can call it the recessional velocity, or you can just call it the Hubble flow. And I'm going to call it the Hubble flow today. We are looking at the flow of space as it's moving away from us between the distances of 2 and 3 megaparsecs, and that flow is 204 kilometers per second.